Hi, I'm Orion Cassetto, Director of Product Marketing at Exabeam. In this video, I'm going to explain an important new tool for cybersecurity professionals, MITRE ATT&CK. After unpacking the acronym, I'll walk you step-by-step -step through the terminology of ATT&CK. Stick with me and you'll have a solid foundational understanding. Before we jump in, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the XBoom channel, where we post new explainer videos and demos every week. So hit the bell to be notified when we publish. Here's what we're going to go through. Who is MITRE? And what does ATT&CK stand for? What's the point of MITRE ATT&CK? Tactics, techniques, and groups, and other terms. Understanding the ATT&CK matrices. So MITRE is a government-funded research organization based in Bedford, Massachusetts and McLean, Virginia. The company was spun out of MIT in 1958 and has been involved in a range of commercial and top secret projects for a range of agencies. These include the development of the FAA air control system and the AWACS airborne radar system. MITRE has a substantial cybersecurity practice funded by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, Cybersecurity professionals will be most familiar with the Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures database, which is the CVE database. Interestingly, MITRE is not an acronym, though some thought it stood for Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Research, and Engineering. The name is the creation of James McCormick, an early board member who wanted a name that meant nothing but sounded evocative. Attack is an acronym. It stands for Adversarial Tactics, Techniques, and Common Knowledge. Let's look into each of these terms. First, the A is pretty self-explanatory. The attack framework lays out the behaviors of the bad guys, our adversaries. Tactics represent what an adversary is trying to accomplish, like initial access, discovery, or exfiltration. Techniques represent how an adversary achieves a tactical objective by performing an action like drive-by compromise or port knocking. As you can tell, the ampersand resembles an A, so the acronym can be pronounced ATT&CK. Common knowledge is the documented use of tactics and techniques by adversaries. Now you know who is behind it and what it stands for. But why was ATT&CK created? First, it creates a common vocabulary that security analysts can use to communicate clearly. Red teams and blue teams can use the same terms, Anything that can reduce friction between teams is good in my point of view. Vendors, consultants, and customers can all use the same terminology as well. Also, ATT&CK brings specific details that might previously only be available to elite responders or those with security clearance. The community around ATT&CK now makes sure that that's all shared and then everybody calls it the same thing. Those familiar with the Lockheed Martin cyber kill chain might wonder how it's different. The cyber kill chain lays out a high-level framework. Reconnaissance, weaponization, delivery, exploitation, command and control, and actions, or execution. It doesn't really get into the specific details of tactics or techniques. What you see in this picture is how attack, and something called pre-attack, which we will get into, tuck nicely under the cyber kill chain. Coming back to tactics, there are 12 of them, which you can see listed here. While not all need to be used, you can see how they progress through a likely attack chain. MITRE added the 12th impact in 2019. This describes the outcome or the impact on an organization or what the adversary hopes to ultimately accomplish. Note that to go beyond theft or exfiltration, it includes outcomes like defacement, denial of service, data destruction, and the like. There are over 250 techniques in the attack enterprise matrix, and they're added as they're discovered. The Exabeam research team contributed the domain generation algorithms technique in 2019. Each technique is given a unique number, again, to help with communication. Some of the techniques also have fun names, like technique 1208 is also known as Kerber roasting. In 2020, MITRE added sub techniques which are a more specific description of adversarial behavior used to achieve a goal. They describe behavior at a lower level than a technique would. You may have also heard of something called tactics, techniques, and procedures, or TTPs. These are a direct outgrowth 
of attack. The CK in attack is really documentation of procedures plus more information, and it makes a better acronym if we're being honest. There's been a big shift in security recently towards using TTPs to detect adversaries. TTPs describe behaviors and can be observed proactively. The old method, detecting indicators of compromise, or IOCs, was backwards looking. People were always looking at things like AV signatures, file names, hashes, IP addresses, and the like. In addition to being reactive, which is bad enough, there are simply too many IOCs out there. The volume is too high to even know where to start. Coming back to procedures, each technique includes several procedure examples observed in the wild. Okay, one last term. So you know the A in attack stands for adversarial. The framework also has a term for common adversaries. These are called groups. Some groups are well known, like the Russian group APT28, which is believed to have interfered with the US election in 2016, or the Elderwood gang that hacked Google in Operation Aurora. Miter made it easy to navigate all of this by putting information together in a matrix form. It's web-based, so anyone can drill down into the details of the tactics, techniques, and the groups. There are matrices for enterprise, mobile, and industrial environments. Here is the Miter attack enterprise matrix. Tactics run across the top. Techniques for each tactic are shown beneath. An attack would be some combination of techniques, typically one per tactic running from initial access all the way through exfiltration. Now that we've got the basics of MITRE ATT&CK, feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comments below, and I'll answer. In our next segment, we'll take a closer look at the different attack matrices, including pre-attack, enterprise, mobile, and ICS. And if you like what you saw, please like the video and subscribe to our channel below. Click the notification bell so you won't miss any of our new cybersecurity training videos. Thanks.